So what's up, what's up, Crunk Nation Motivation? All right, uh, Crunk back one more. You guys already know what my video is about, hard work. We crush excuses, we stay active, and we stay away from dwelling no matter what because we don't want to dwell because we don't want time passing us by, right? So let's go. Um, to, if you're tuning into this video, you're going to learn about uh, one of the chapters in my book. It's, uh, it's called The Light Turns Green. And that's pretty much, that's an interesting chapter because that's actually when uh, the car accident happened. So I'm going to go ahead and explain that one today. And you guys already know what I'm about. Every time I'm working out, I'm going to explain my testimony. If I'm not working out, then my te there's no more no more explaining. You know, there's no more, there, uh, there's no reward for not working out, pretty much. And uh, our reward is to learn more about me. But um, go ahead, grab your weights. I'm going to use 12s. I got my 12s like usual. Um, you guys could use 1s, 2s, 3s. Uh, fives, tens, fifteens, twenties, whatever, but I'm at twelve, all right. So that's where I'm staying at. But uh, yeah, go ahead and um, yeah, let's go. Let's get started. You guys already know what I'm about. Just follow along, all right? But uh, let's go. Man, these flies about to get socked up. They already know I shadow box. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, so keep just follow along, and and, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and say more, most uh, say. The, the chapter in that book, all right? So let's go. All right, so the light turns green. At this point, uh, my cousin and uh, I'll explain it how, how it says in my book, but uh, my cousin, um, my cousin Jose, stupid fly, man, it's gonna get socked up. You know what, at this point, let's do some, let's do some, some, some punches. All right, well, yeah, um, so yeah, so the light turns, the light turns green. At this point, um, if you've lived in Vegas, you actually know that, that on Desert Inn and in Durango, back in 2013, there was actually like two big dips on that, on that street. And those two big dips were actually uh, along Durango and what happened was that um that well pretty much I'm, I'm pretty sure that the light turned green and they both decided to race when they started to race they uh, they literally I mean I don't know I don't know I, I don't know what happened I don't know if I fell asleep I don't know uh, I don't know nothing after them I mean from there all I remember is waking up and, and and hearing and being told what happened. So this is the what they told me. But uh, oh, what my brother, uh, Pa told me, all right. But um, so he stated to me that that uh that that night that I was uh I was drinking a lot, right? I was. I was drinking a lot. I was, uh, you know, turning up, you know, just having a good time, you know, re having reckless fun and just drinking and not caring what I was doing. And later on, I was like, man, uh, I, I didn't care about how much I drink or, or if about anything or anyone. And back back in, the, in those days, I, I think my brother told me that my girlfriend at the time, that she, uh, she was angry because she's like, man, you never know how to control your drinking. You always drink out of your limit. You don't, you, you know, you never know what's going on. And she was just like, honestly, uh, she's like, that's why I don't like being with you because you're always drinking a lot and you don't know how to control it. And I guess it got to a point where we were arguing back and forth and we were just, uh, you know, angry at each other. And I guess my brother told me that at one point that she, I'm pretty sure she's, had broken up with me and at that point uh my brother told me that I had throw out her belongings back like back at her not giving a damn and and that I was mad and I was walking to my car and that I was about to I was about to take off on the car and then he ran after me and he grabbed the keys like you ain't driving he's like man you've been drinking he's like yeah, I'm not gonna let you drive and then he took the keys and he started uh he he, he went on and he he you know he uh, took over the, the driver's seat. And from there, I mean, I was in the passenger and I was just like, all right, cool, whatever, you know. And then, all right, break. Let's have a little break. 
Let's get some water. So I know you guys are feeling it. And now you guys gotta keep up. Where's my water at? I'm thirsty. Oh damn, it's all the way back there. Who put that there? Way back there, man, like I'm not thirsty. Yeah, right. I put in work all the time. But, hope you guys are having a good day. If you're tuning into this video, like I always say, uh, it's not only YouTube, I got, uh, I got TikTok, I got Instagram, I got Facebook, I got Snapchat, you know. I got all the social media except for Twitter. I don't know if I gotta get into that. Go ahead and comment down below if I should get into that, you know, if it's gonna be worth it or what. But, um, yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah, I'm everywhere else. You know, even on Snapchat, that's not a big bang no more, but I mean, I only put, I only uh, pretty much upload to promote my videos when they go up. But anyways, let's get back to work. I know you guys are uh, ready to hear the rest of the testimony. And uh, yeah, and we'll get to work and keep putting in work, right? Because there's nothing like putting in work and getting rewarded with a testimony of, of why God is real and why, how he saved my life and uh, why I'm in the situation that I'm in, but I'm getting out of it slowly but surely. It's thanks to him and to my effort, you know? But let's go, let's get started and let's get it. So, where I left off. From there, uh, he told me that he started driving and that I was complaining. I was just like, yo, man, come on. Let me uh, let me go with, with uh, Jose. Let me go with Jose. I'm like, man, I want to talk to him. He's having girl problems too, just like I am. I'm like, I know he's going to understand and he's going to know, uh, you know, my situation. He's going to know what to tell me. I'm like, come on, let me just go with him, please. I'm like, man, come on. I'm like, dude. And he's just like, dude, no. He's like, just chill. And I'm not sure. I kind of have, have like a flashback, but I'm not sure if it's exactly like that. But uh, when... Jose stopped at a gasoline station. I'm not sure if he stopped for like gas or for something, but at that moment when my brother stopped, and I, was, I mean, it was like I said, it's dumb because it was my car, you know, I didn't buy, yeah, I didn't control my drinking. But I mean, uh, from there, I ended up getting out of my car, running, and going into my cousin's car. So at that point, I was like, uh, I, you know, I was, I, don't, I was out of my mind. Like, like I said, I was intoxicated. I don't, I don't really know what was going on, and I didn't really care. And uh, no, and then from there, so I remember being in the car, and I remember him getting back in the car. And I kind of remember him turning. He's just like, what are you doing here? And I was just like, I'm riding with you. And he was just like, okay. And then he, he ended up like, you know, not, not, uh, not important to it, not, not really, uh, not really minding it, you know, not really caring. And, you know, and then from there, uh, he, from there, he ended up, uh, he ended up taking off from the gasoline station. When it took off, you know, my brother's like, all right, cool, well, whatever, we're all gonna meet up at the house anyway. And, and I guess it got to the point where, um, well, you know, he, they ended up getting to the light. When they got to the light, and like turns green. This uh, this girl. Uh, uh, I believe it was Samantha. I think Samantha. Well, this girl Samantha that was with us that night. Uh, she was intoxicated, and she pulled up right next to him. And it just so happens that he got a Camaro SS 2012, and she got a red Camaro. SS 2012 and his is black you know so uh, from there um, okay I'm sorry sorry no so from there uh, you know the light turns green they both take off I'm pretty sure it got to the point to a po they got to a point where where somehow uh, the, you know when they crossed the bumps because they had rain that night no you know it had rain that night 
so just know uh, also note that you know when they went through the bumps they probably both went through them lost control who knows what happened where it happened or, or anything you know but uh yeah but i mean at the end of the day from there um my brother said that he pulled up he sees her car and he's like oh dang you know he's like yo i gotta help her he's like she's she's you know she's probably hurt or something so he said she he, that he got out and then he goes to her aid and and then her face is all, got blood all over her face and that um and then she's just out and then he's like damn so he said that he he got her helped her and carried her onto the grass because she had crashed into an uh, electricity pool and yeah one it was a, a little electricity pool you know not the big ones but just a little electricity pool and, and yeah and she, she was out you know she, she was uh, unconscious and unresponsive so he ends up helping him to the grass and then from there he ends up uh he end, he tells me that he that some that some teenagers that were there that night that they end up that they end up um, that they end up r running up to him and they're just like hey yo bro you know there's a there's another car and he was just like what and he thought yeah look and then when the, he looks up he said when he saw it, he's like damn my heart dropped because he's like I was like damn that's freaking Ivan's car or Jose's car you know he's like damn that's crazy and and he gets he gets uh, shocked. And from there, he said that he ended up um, running over there and going to see what's going on. And he said that when, when he ran down there, that he ended up uh, seeing his face all filled with blood. And that uh, we had actually crashed into a, a utility pool. That is those big ones, you know, the, the big ones. That I don't know what they hold, but they're huge. But uh, you could see those every like block or something. But anyways, um, yeah, and the damage was on my side, you know? So, I mean, um, so my brother finds him, and he helps him out of the car, gets him on the grass. I mean, and check this out. My, 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 at that point, my cousin was on, like, a good, uh, probably, like, 189 pounds, maybe a 195. Uh, and he, he was lean, you know, he had muscle. And and from there, uh, he ends up go, going, looking for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm ejected. I'm gone, you know? <laughs> And, Cause I, I wasn't wearing my belt, which I know a lot of you guys are like, oh dang idiot, nah, that saved my life. Cause it, I mean, there's a uh, there's videos if you scroll down below of how the car turned out, and I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna be like, oh yeah, he should be dead. And and that's that's it's it's a it's a blessing that I got ejected from the seat because if you see the the pictures of the of the of the, um, of the seat that I was in, you could tell that. I mean, I, I would have probably got struck with a piece of metal, and if not that, I would have been all turned. I don't know how many bones I would have broke, you know? So, I mean, at the end of the day, God knows what he does, and he knows everybody's purpose and what they're here for, you know? So, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to work hard to find that purpose, and we all got a purpose in this life. All right, but, um, so from there, uh, he said that he ended up going and going to my side, and he's like, dude, what ended up happening? He said he saw me, my legs, in the car, and half of my body out. You know, I was I was out. And he said that from there, he's like, damn, crap, dude. And he said that he ran. He tried to get to my aid, and he said that right here. Uh, let me let me let me show y'all, so you guys know that I ain't lying. That right here, uh, three bones were actually uh, out. And he was just like, oh, he told me, he was like, oh, snap. And then he freaked out and he was trying to like, not wanting to push him back in, but he kind of wanted to push him back in. But I mean, it was his first time seeing that. I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it's traumatic. And, and you know, I mean, somebody his age, he was young at that point, you know? And to go through something like that is like, that's traumatizing and you're never gonna be the same again because you're always gonna have to live with that in your head. And you know, of everything you saw, the blood of, you know, um, the impact, the bones, everything is just traumatizing, you know. And you wouldn't want to go through that again. And I and I would I don't want to want anybody to go through that. So you know, you always gotta be careful and drive responsible. And remember, sometimes an Uber is worth paying fifteen dollars to get home safely, and or not or not even putting somebody's life in danger because you never know who you could hurt. All right, but let's continue this story because I know you guys are anxious to keep hearing. Alright, so then from there, um, 
from there, uh, he said that the teenagers ended up there like, hey bro, you, hey, you need help, man, or what? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, please, please. He's like, help me. And, uh, and they ended up helping him move me because I was like 305 pounds. So then they ended up helping me, uh, helping move 